Hello, welcome back to an another video on five axis tutorial. But in this video, we are going to cover on four axis because if you go into this your uh, tool axis and you can able to see there is an option called towards line action. This is mainly used for a four axis uh, tool path. So that's why we are going to cover uh, under the five axis chapter actually. But what we are going to create is a pure four axis tool path, okay? So the, the first tool path we are going to create is uh, flow line finishing and the second one we will follow with a pattern uh, finishing or maybe you can go for a profile finishing, okay? Uh, before that, we need to create a block so for that, I have a work plane here. If you closely look at your z-axis is vertical aligned and x-axis is uh, aligned with the cylindrical axis. This should be uh, the way it is going on actually. So, but if you go and uh, create a cylindrical form uh, using an active work plane and say calculate, it will comes like this, okay? Because the cylinder is always created aligned to the z-axis. So what you have to do is you had to create one more work plane. This we are going to use for uh, toolpath work plane, thread V9. It's using for uh, toolpath work plane. But what we are going to create a new one is for only for block creation, okay? So if you right click uh, and say create work plane, having the existing work plane active, okay? It will create at the same location with the same direction okay, aligning, okay? But now what we need is, we need to tilt the Z axis in the uh, uh, place of X, okay? Z should be in the place of X, X should go down. The Y remains same. So what we need to select is Y twist and say 90 and enter. So you can see that Z axis comes in this place actually, okay? Accept it. And now what we are going to do is, we are not going to use the active work plane, okay? We use the named work plane and uh, we are going to select the work plane we just created, okay? And if you calculate again, the cylindrical axis come into the, uh, over the 3D model exactly aligned with the axis, cylindrical axis. Now accept it actually. So the first tool path we are going to start with uh, flow line finishing strategy. So in this one, uh, we are going to select the tool. It's already created. Now we are going to create the embedded pattern, actually. Not a pattern, it's an embedded pattern. So how to create it? So if you select the sidewise and keep this uh, strategy just move below and uh, you can right click say create pattern and insert model actually. So once you get insert model, you can say that uh, your, uh, your pattern like this actually, but it's a single pattern, actually, single curve with closed one. What we need it is, we need to uh, divide it into four segments, exactly four. So start curve, end curve and joining curves. So for that you right click and say curve editor and from segments, you can find cut and you can cut that actually at the exactly edge. So by keep on selecting the same uh, curve, the other side also. Okay, so here and here also. Okay, so now we need to verify that whether it is exactly four or more than four actually. So if you select this, uh, you can see that it starts here and ends here, it is one. And the second curve, if you select, there is a disjoint here actually. It starts here, but it is not ending here. It is, in, uh, there is an another curve to join. So what you have to do is select that one also and say merge selected. And now the information comes, uh, zero closed curve and four open curves. That's what we needed. We need exactly four different curves actually, okay? within the same pattern. So now we are going to select that pattern actually. So what it will do, it automatically get embedded. And now you can see it turns into different color. Green is the starting curve, red is the end curve, and the blue color is the joining curve, either end actually. So if you would like to change the start curve and curve, you have the option here. 
okay you can say change this one you can change it but i uh, it is good to go with this same actually but under the tool axis what we are going to see is uh, just go on first click the draw tool axis and we can able to find how the tool axis is going to create okay so my uh, that my line exactly aligned at 0 0 0 okay that center of the cylinder actually that's why 0 0 0 but my direction is 1 0 0 okay that means this is x and y and z you can say um, so if it put 1 you can say that it aligned to x axis actually if you say if it is 0 1 0 okay it aligned to y and if you say 1 0 0 it aligned to z actually if you put two digit here one and one it will be a 45 degree in either uh, between z and y actually but what we need it here is this is the one we need it actually so we need the line aligned with x axis towards line so that is the tool axis we are going to create actually uh, just for the block functionality so uh, I verified that you can see that it's exactly located um, located in this form actually okay you can see that okay so everything is good to go now you can able to calculate the tool path so now what it is doing is as it is a flow line finishing it follows the curves actually four uh, segments of the curves actually start curve is the green curve and red curve is the end curve and joining curve is the blue color actually so once it is done you can see that it is uh, created like this so now you can see that uh, my safe area here because it is very close uh, if you would like to go for you can go with that uh, start point end curve so first point safe and uh, last point safe but in the safe area i would like to convert that uh, movement here you can see it is it is moving straight actually okay it's moving straight i would like to make it a curve so that i feel safe and uh, just uh, select the curve and say cylinder calculate and you can see that how it turns actually so once it is completed it go up and comes to the same uh, start region and it will rotate in the form of like this actually so this is a, a rotary movement of the links so this is a flow line finishing and if you simulate this tool path here okay you can see that it so I just switch on that tool tool also so that you can verify. So now you can see the tool is rotating, but in actual in the in the machine the job will rotate. Let us see how we, uh, we are going to see in a real simulation. So I'm going to import uh, one of my MTD file here. Okay, so you can see that here actually. But now uh, it see the 3D model gets. Uh, into the check actually so i can move it actually so what we can do is create work plane here so and i just want to move this work plane in positive direction so i put uh, some 50 mm uh, 100 maybe okay apply and tick now do is here uh, if you go to the machine tool and if you select the second one it automatically move out actually okay so you can stick to this one if you move closely the work plane here and now if you see the simulation okay so you can see that simulation here the job will rotate actually okay so you can see it is moving from this end okay you, you can change either and it is a, a one-way milling if you want to change two-way milling or you want to start from this direction all you can do it from here actually and the next one is what we are going to see is a profile finishing strategy so i can select here so in this case i'm selecting the bottom curve for bottom finishing or you can select the uh, side finishing also 
the same uh, you, you just calculate first uh, two got selected your tool axis is same towards line and your direction is one zero but if you calculate we can able to see where it is going to create actually okay so here in this case you can see that so i switch off my mission tool for a while you can see it is automatically get created here actually okay exactly the way it looks it's a a tool path in you can create uh, immediately without having any pattern okay there is no pattern involved here only surface actually you can use this one also actually okay so either you use a profile finishing or maybe you can have a, a flow line finishing or maybe you can use the surface finishing also sometimes okay so but your tool axis will be towards line 100 okay so this is what about a tool axis and uh, uh, about tool axis towards line and the next video we will cover on from line actually